Okay, gang, this is Grandpa again. Going to uh, do another video here after I've changed batteries in my VA1. Uh, let's get a little closer than that. Okay. I'm doing this by hand, so y'all bear with me. Yep, it's 27 megahertz. All right, there we are. Let's see if I can reach all the buttons. I'm just doing this a quickie here. Okay, I'm in uh, mode number one. Now that's not what a new battery will do for reactants. And there's a resistance. That's about what I get uh, when I test. Uh, I get uh, 56. 56 when I test. So maybe this dummy load has got an ohm of resistance in it that's uh, showing up here. At uh, 27 megahertz where I test. Okay, let's see what it is with the antenna mode. Okay, it adds a little bit to the uh, reactants and uh, lowers the uh, resistance a little bit. So it compensates. You can see that. Zero. It's seven. Okay. Me, uh, Okay, got it back to 20, 205, 200, 27, 200, roughly. SWR is uh, 1.14. It's 1.11 earlier, as I recall. And now we've got better, uh, we've got a better uh, value for X. See how, see how meaningless all this data can be. I mean, I know Bob, you're uh, concerned about my jo being jovial about all this because I put put very little stock in this information. It's how this thing operates that is important, not what these numbers tell us and uh, albeit it, I would like to, to be right dead on accurate uh, this will tell you right there that because I've got a better value for X the reactants uh, with this new battery in my meter I still don't get I still don't get as uh, good a SWR as I was getting earlier when I had a bad battery in it and my reactants was high so that's because the resistance was maybe a little different. I don't remember the details. But uh, you might check your VA1 out and you may find you have some little variables like that too. Although I do believe that uh, the manufacturers have gone to a lot more uh, programming inside the uh, uh, software with that uh, meter. So consequently you're going to get a lot more control over the results and this uh, this is a live result subject to a lot of input RF in the air and my hand you know how it was doing earlier excuse my hand I'm showing me showing you my disease there but at uh, any rate I uh, I hope I've given you a little bit uh, of information here, but I'm not too real concerned about these numbers. I use them to try to get a feel for what it is I see, and individual numbers don't mean crap to me. It's when they all get together on a form and I can plot them out and see the visuals. I think uh, 359 showed that to us the other day, and Homer's thread on his uh, 5H wave antenna, I think it was Homer's uh, 5H wave thread. Uh, the importance of the plotting is what is significant to show us something. The numbers themselves don't mean crapola. Uh, 
you guys that use one of these meters uh, at some fine point, one point, say you go up here in frequency and you get to one point and you scan around a little bit and see what it is, I, I can do this to it too. Let me just show you while I'm here. I'll do SWR and frequency at the same time. See it oscillating there? And I can scan. Y'all probably can do that on the MFJ. I don't know. You go up to 40 and see what it does. About the same. So, what do those numbers mean to you? If they're all about the same, all the way from channel 1 through channel 40. Let's go down to channel 1. There's about channel 1 right there. And the number, the SWO number is about the same all the way across there. That tells you that uh, this dummy load is a uh, is, uh, is showing you the same thing all, all the way across there. Your antenna may do that to you too. So, you know, these numbers are just reference numbers. I use them to plot. And whenever I get a plot, then I can see something. I see some unusual things that you don't see just by considering the numbers. At any rate, got to go. Uh, uh, done more than I wanted to do here on the, this little demo. Just kind of following up a little bit with Bob to show him that my meter will uh, do better with better battery in it, and it will show zero reactants. I think I can get it to do it right here. Well, it's not doing it on that frequency. Let's see what kind of bands it'll do it. There it is. Let me set my camera down and I'll put it in a flash mode and see if it'll do both of them. Yeah, it'll do both of them if it doesn't kick me out of the mode. No. Yeah. I'm a zero. That's the, that's the uh, heath kit. It's my old Heath kit with the RF meter in it, okay? If y'all look real close there, you can see this little, this little meter registering a little bit of RF. See that needle a little past the pig? Just a little past the pig? My, this, this meter on here is, is bird certified. Bird certified. You can see that with this millivolts coming out of my meter. Registering. Registering right here on this bird certified meter attached to this. Wait, I'm hung up. Attached to this uh, big old 8 inch uh, resistor in there. I, I'm using for a load. Okay, gotta go. Check y'all later. This old grandpa broadcasting live and in color on your two-way radio. Shaking the beat 60. <laughs> I can't do this too long. I need a, a boom, a portable boom to kind of wander around all over the house. Yeah, lab here. Okay, got to go. Check y'all later.